Hello there, here we are again. Um, I've not posted anything on here for a while, but I thought it's about time we got something, something sorted and done. And I want to show you a picture that I've done over the past uh, few days, um, whereby it's a portrait. And I was actually looking on the internet the other day, and this picture came up. It's a picture of yeah, a bit closer there, there we go. It's a picture of a fellow called Terry Hall, who was the lead singer of a group called The Specials. And it really stood out, really strong image, really strong use of, of light against dark to produce a really good image. And I thought, you know what? I want to have a go at drawing that. And that, that's really how art happens, isn't it? You're suddenly inspired. I want to have a go at doing it. I'm going to do it. And I've decided to produce a drawing of it. However, I've decided to do it a little bit different in that I've got a Chromebook and I've got an, a, an app on the Chromebook called Sketchbook. So I thought I'm going to give it a go. Rather than using pencil and paper, I'm going to give it a go and use my Chromebook to see what I can do. I hasten to add, you've always, I always say, before you start drawing on a Chromebook or any sort of IT equipment, you've got to be able to use pencil and paper first. Learn the trade on the pencil and paper before you come up with the final image on the Chromebook. Because it using the pencil and paper really teaches you about using tone, shade, getting the light areas, getting the dark areas, etc. And you can then interpret it using all these wonderful gadgets that are on here you can interpret it and there we go to get that there now just a few things i want to just take by the way i i will post a video showing how this developed so over i did I had four sessions about an hour hour and a half each session to show how i developed the overall picture because another good thing about this particular app is that at the top there there should be, yeah, there's a little camera. And if you click that when you're drawing it, it copies everything that you're doing. It's brilliant. So it can, you, you can show exactly how you've done the drawing. You can't do that using pencil and paper unless you've got a camera over the top of you showing that. Well, that's, that's really cool. Other advantage of using this is if you want to look at detail, you can enlarge it and work into it using that. Just like you can on the camera, if you want to really zoom in, brilliant fabulous for actually getting that detail on there okay and if i just show you things on here which are which really really i found, I found great I found it really really good fun using this let me just save that on there if i bring up a blank page on here you can see you've got all these different tools down the side from pencil down to marker pen nib pen paintbrush rubbers etc smudges at the bottom and you've got a little tool here that helps you decide what sort of line you want to do so if i wanted quite a fine line that's too fine that's because i'm using a rubber that helped on it eh Woo! not my camera as well there we go if i wanted a fine line on there let's just change that around there a little bit there we go, bring up the opacity there. Get a fine line. You can draw using that quite straightforward. You can use that to help you sketch out. If I wanted it a little bit thicker, and you'll see there how it shows how that line's getting, getting wider there, and we can do, I'm using that. If I want, to work with a lighter touch, which you do when you're shading sometimes, you can change what they call the opacity. And you can see there the difference there between the lighter and the darker. Okay, and you can gradually just work on that and build up again, just like you would with a pencil. Build up the strength of that pencil on there. It's fabulous, really, really good little thing. And want a rubber? We can rub things out. We can also change the size of the rubber massive there we can take it down dead small there and we can work on things a little different areas like that it's a really really good piece of kit i can highly highly recommend this to be used 
uh, for drawing and you can see there in fact if I scroll this along here it will actually show yeah it shows how I built gradually built up the image sketching it out first of all just like you would do with pencil can't really see that on there oh there you go sketching it out first of all and then gradually building up the overall image so you come to that final image there which of what I've ended up with there really really good thing I will also mention that I use a pen on this in fact that's you can actually bring bring out a, a white pen to actually bring up things like stubble and stuff like that which is absolutely incredible really 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 good in fact if I just take it onto that one there I believe yeah can you see that there just use a white pen to just bring out the stubble and I also used the white pen on that I did all that black first on the neck chief and then worked into it with the, a rubber and a white pen to put that detail on so it's fabulous I can highly recommend if you have got access to using technology like this as long as you do it on paper first of all that's the most important thing um, give it a go give it a go try things out don't be scared beauty of this make mistakes you can just rub it out with the and it doesn't wreck your your paper or anything like that really really good so there you go that's what I've been up to recently and like I say I will post on the video for you to look at later on see you for now ta-da